Welcome to the Lost World Museum. I'm John Adolfi, and I'm going to show you the three fossils that geologists and evolutionists would prefer that you didn't see. Fossil number one. Our first fossil is done by this bad boy right here. This is an American lion. They were larger than the lions today. How much larger? Today's lion is around three feet at the shoulder. This American lion was five feet at the shoulder. Let me show you the normal size paw print, then we'll show you the lion print in Cretaceous limestone. You're not going to believe this. It was an extra large cat, which means that it was an extra large paw print. The th lions we have today have paw prints that are about like that, okay? And the prehistoric one had one much larger. This was found in the Paluxy Riverbed in Glen Rose, Texas. And again, this is Cretaceous limestone. It has an assigned age of 70 to 140 million years old. The problem is, is that evolution says during the megafauna era, where this would have existed, that is the extra large lion, it existed three to four million years ago. What? Wait. Let's check out the next one. The Acrocanthosaurus is a three-toed dinosaur that lived, according to geology and evolution, 66 million years ago. But wait, his footprint is found in Cretaceous limestone? You bet. So far we've shown you two fossils, the giant cat and the Acrocanthosaurus in the same strata. Now what I'm about to show you, you're just not going to believe. And then you'll understand why evolutionists and geologists would prefer you didn't know about this. Oh no, are you telling me that fossil number three is a human fossil? Yes sir, and it's not just a human fossil, it is a giant human fossil, approximately 16 and a half inches, and guess where it was found? This was found in the Paluxy River in Glen Rose, Texas. Huh? I don't get it. I know what you mean. Look, here's the problem. You've got 66 million years, three to four million years, and what? Homo habilis? Homo habilis was the most human of all of the evolutionary, the beginning of the evolutionary cycle as far as what looks like us today, two million years ago. So you got two, four, 66, and all three of them are in Cretaceous limestone. No wonder science would prefer, and I'm talking about evolutionary science and geologists who believe in millions and millions of years old, would not want you to know all three of these came from the same strata or same level of sediment. All right, so let's wrap it up. We've seen three fossils. One, a giant cat with an assigned age of three to four million years ago. An acrocanthosaurus with an assigned age of 66 million years ago. And a giant human footprint with an assigned age of, well, no more than two million years old. By evolutionists. These are the reason why they don't want to see it because all three are in Cretaceous limestone. I mean, how can a human, a mammal, cat, and a dinosaur all be in Cretaceous limestone. They shouldn't be. However, if there really was a worldwide flood, which I believe there was, all three of them would have been caught up together. And limestone at that point was limestone mud. It was being formed for the first time. Those prints were being made. They hardened. They were covered over, only to be discovered 4,500 years later by ourselves. To me, that makes more sense than to try to figure out how these animals and people and uh, dinosaurs spread out by millions, tens of millions of years could have possibly coexisted together in the evolutionary model. I'm John Adolfi with the Lost World Museum. You like more historical and scientific and biblical facts? Press the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.